Thanks for purchasing the Jet Tan Instant Airbrush Tanning System. This video will show you how to get started and how to get the most from your Jet Tan. To begin, let's take a look at your Jet Tan Airbrush Tanning Tool. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with each component of your Jet Tan Airbrush Tanning Tool. It includes the Airbrush Tanning Tool with Dip Tube, Mist Control Switch, and Charging Connector. Two cartridges, both with rubber caps, the bronze cartridge for the liquid tanning solution and the blue cartridge for cleaning out the airbrush tanning tool. The white overcap for the bronze cartridge and the AC adapter to charge your handheld airbrush tanning tool. It's important that you fully charge the airbrush tanning tool for six to eight hours before using it. Once it's fully charged, you'll have 45 minutes of spray time. Be sure to remove the adapter before spraying. If you have sensitive skin, test the tanning solution on a small area of skin and wait 24 hours before using it with the airbrush tanning tool. If the test area itches or is irritated, do not use it on large areas of the body. To properly set up your airbrush tanning tool, hold it in one hand and gently twist the bronze cartridge where the markers align to the open position. Then gently pull the dip tube out of the rubber cap. Lift up the rubber cap on the end marked open here and move it to the left or right to clear the opening. Do not remove the other end of the rubber cap. Slowly pour instant airbrush tanning solution into the cartridge. Do not fill it above the max line. Place the rubber cap back over the opening and press it down tightly to ensure that it's securely closed. Gently place the dip tube down through the center of the cap into the solution and gently twist the cartridge until it clicks into the lock position. Don't force it into place to avoid stripping the cartridge. Now you're ready to jet tan! For optimum tanning results, we recommend that you follow the steps of our complete jet tan system. For best results, your skin should be clean, dry, and freshly exfoliated. It should also be free of makeup, deodorant, perfume, moisturizers, soap, and powder. We recommend using our Jet Tan Foaming Body Exfoliator, designed with very fine jojoba and microcrystalline beads to gently remove the skin's impurities. Other exfoliators may contain oils, which leave a residue that can interfere with your tan. Jet Tan Barrier Cream protects areas that tend to attract too much color during the tanning process, such as cuticles, elbows, knees, ankles, heels, palms of hands, and soles of feet. Apply a thin layer of barrier cream to these areas prior to airbrush tanning. Apply a thicker layer to your cuticles and nails. Before you begin the airbrush tanning process, it's important to place a dark towel, mat, paper towel, or newspaper under your feet to prevent overspray from landing on the floor and possible staining. Spraying inside the shower is another convenient option. Do not turn the airbrush tanning tool upside down when a filled cartridge is attached. This could cause the unit to clog and permanently damage the machine. We recommend that you practice first by spraying onto a piece of white paper to make sure you're familiar with the function of the airbrush tanning tool. The closer you are to the skin, the heavier the mist. The farther away you spray from the skin, the lighter the mist. You can airbrush your nude body, or if you would prefer to be covered, we recommend you wear dark, tight-fitting undergarments, a swimsuit, shorts and a shirt, or disposable garments. The tanning solution will wash out of most fabrics, but some can stain, such as silk, nylon, and wool. Start by holding the airbrush tanning tool six inches away from your skin and slowly move towards your skin. Do not come closer than four inches from the skin as the solution may drip and leave your tan looking splotchy. We recommend that you start by spraying the back and sides of each leg one at a time using up and down spray patterns. Then work from the front of the leg around to the back. You want to achieve a light even mist all over your skin without runs, drips, or heavy splotches of color. Spray slowly and evenly by moving from one area of the skin to the next. If you make a mistake and get a run or a blotch, pat the area gently with a paper towel or sponge. Do not try to rub the area. You can always come back later and respray to blend the spot if needed. Hold the airbrush tool farther away from the feet to allow the solution to lightly mist down upon them. 
Use lighter coverage on the toes and sides. When spraying your shoulders and chest, stand in front of a mirror to guide your spray. You want the solution to mist down onto the top and rounded areas of the shoulders. If desired, you can spray an extra coat across the shoulders and along the tops of your arms for more of a sun-kissed look. If the tanning solution gets in your hair, don't worry, it won't stain and will simply wash out. Don't spray the solution directly into your armpits, but mist them lightly. When spraying your arms, use horizontal patterns. With your arms outstretched, rotate the arm backwards as much as you comfortably can with fingers spread and palms facing down. To spray your hands, hold the airbrush tool about 12 inches away and spray a light mist down onto your hands from the top. Allow 5 to 10 minutes drying time for your hands. Beading may appear on any body hair, however, the solution will absorb naturally into the skin. Spraying your back can be difficult, depending on your flexibility. We recommend enlisting the help of a family member or friend for best coverage. Or you can bend over, hold your tool over your shoulder, and lightly mist over your back. After you've completed your airbrush tanning session, use our Instant Tanner and Bronzer for the face. It's designed to give the face a beautiful golden bronze look in seconds and a soft tan that develops in three to four hours. It allows you to see where and how it is applied, which prevents streaking and gives instant color. We recommend you airbrush twice your first week to get a base tan and once or twice a week after that, depending on your preference. After your tanning session, allow about 10 minutes for your jet tan to completely dry before putting on clothes or going to bed. We also recommend that you wear loose, dark clothing after your tanning session. For shorter drying time, you can blow dry your body or sit in front of a fan until the solution is fully absorbed and your skin is dry. Do not work out or shower for at least 8 hours after application. Sweat can cause a natural reaction that can result in poor color and uneven tanning. You can still go out in the sun with Jet Tan, but we highly recommend that you wear sun protection, such as our Jet Spray SPF 30, which will give you a beautiful sheen as well as protecting you from sun damage. Jet Spray SPF 30 was designed to be used with your airbrushing tool. Simply pour the solution into your blue cartridge and spray it over your body. You can also swim in a pool or in the ocean with Jet Tan, but the chlorine in salt water will cause your tan to fade more quickly. Consult your pediatrician before using jet tan on children. Most of the bronzer will wash off with your first bath or shower, but the self-tanning ingredient remains. To extend your tan, use our tan extender daily to keep your tan looking rich and beautiful. It's very important to clean your airbrush tanning tool after each application to help prevent possible clogging. Once you've completed your tanning session, slowly twist the bronze cartridge until it clicks to the open position and slowly pull the dip tube out of the rubber cap. Lock the white over cap onto the bronze cartridge until it clicks securely and store it in a safe area until your next jet tan application. For your convenience, we've provided a separate blue cartridge to use with water for cleaning out your airbrush tanning tool. Follow the same instructions as setting up your airbrush tanning tool, but instead of tanning solution, pour water into the blue cartridge. Spray the water through the unit into your sink until the water runs clear. Avoid getting any water into the tool and wipe it with a damp cloth if the nozzle has any solution residue. And always be sure to recharge your airbrush tanning tool in between uses. If you find that your airbrush tanning tool doesn't work, we recommend that you try the following. Take a straight pin and puncture the hole on the white inner cap. Or, while holding down the trigger with one hand, cover the nozzle with your index finger for two seconds. This creates pressure to pull liquid through the valve. If you ever have questions about your Jet Tan airbrush tanning system, please call our customer support line. Enjoy a gorgeous sun-kissed look all year round with Jet Tan.